Good morning. So many people don't know, but Matt actually dedicated um, Let's Get Married by Jagged Edge to me on our wedding. He's the best. Love him. Okay, so for those of you, first of all, thank you so much for actually being here again and watching my little YouTube clip of the news. For those of you who don't know, me and my good friend Bailey Parker, who got me this super cute microphone, are actually working on a podcast that we started recording two days ago. And this is just a great way for me to get comfortable in front of the camera and talking to an audience, especially because I love comedy and really want to pursue doing some comedy skits. So this is just a great way for me to warm up. And I'd love for your guys' feedback. Please tell me. I already got mentioned about the lighting, and I am going to be doing something about the lighting and the camera quality. So let's jump into it, though. This morning um, on Tulsa News, I'm sure everybody saw the headlines that coronavirus up spike in Tulsa being linked to the Trump rally. Now, that is the title in the articles. They all mention, though, very subtly that they do take into consideration the rallies and people just walking around living their daily lives with no mask on. So, yes, everybody's seeing that headline, though. It's everywhere. It's this political climate, too, I'm sure. Um, there is an ongoing investigation in Tulsa, according to ABC Tulsa. A man who was crossing the parking lot at the Quick Trip near 11th and Union was shot. Apparently, he'd gotten into some type of argument with somebody in a car, and they drove by and shot him on foot. Um, there is little information out about this. I believe it happened in the middle of the night. So we will touch back on that when we know more information. Also, let's not forget there was, um, a man who stole seven guns from a gun store and there has been little information about him. The case is still unsolved. He drives a dark Honda, I believe a black Honda Civic or Accord. Um, he has a right tattoo on his arm or a tattoo on his right arm they believe um and like i said there's very little information about it so if you could just contact crime stoppers if you do have anything the number is 918-596-COPS or you can email burglary at cityoftulsa.org now let's move on to some national news governor ralph northen of virginia is written to all these school boards across their state and saying that he wants to change all the names and uh, mascots that honor any Confederate leaders. Northam is a Democrat and is quoted saying that by keeping and allowing the names that endorses the values of systematic racism and advanced slavery. He said this is no longer acceptable and is actually traumatizing. And I mean, yes, definitely. So I am really curious to see how many monument stories are going on right now coinciding because I've heard a lot so I'm going to compile a list and maybe we can unpack it together and just kind of see um I think it is interesting um I do think that we should honor our history and remember it but I do also think that we need to respect everybody and I would definitely be not wanting that in my school um, okay, so yesterday I mentioned that Norman's new ordinance enforced people to wear masks in public and that this applied to anyone over the age of six without disabilities and um, was going into effect immediately. They were also posting signs or making signs for businesses to post. Um, we were curious as to who else would follow suit. I think this is going to be a really popular thing. And Atlanta, Georgia mayor is ordering masks to be worn in public spaces as well as details. Um, we're waiting more on those, but we do know that she is mandating it. This is according to NPR, her remark moving forward and forcing masks came one day after Governor Keep refused to mandate, saying that Georgians did not need a mandate to follow safety guidelines, health guidelines. Um, she said that they're moving forward anyway. She wants a mandate. And many think that this is motivated by the fact that she did test positive for coronavirus. Um, and you know what? Safety. I totally get it. Just wear a mask in public. It's not that hard. Um, we're all out here struggling. This has been the longest summer of my life. I have four kids. It's so hot. In fact, today it's going to rain. And then all next week it's in the hundreds and up. So... 
Uh, this is the longest summer of my life being in COVID, too. So hang in there, guys. Wear the mask. Follow the ordinances. Do your job. We're going to get through this together. I mean, look at me. I'm like, I'm going to start a podcast. I'm so bored from COVID. Um, no, it's going to be awesome, though. So according to CNN, a 19-year-old Muslim woman in Minneapolis filed discrimination charges stating that a Starbucks barista wrote ISIS... Um, on her cup in place of her name on the little label that they stick onto their cups. And according to the barista, she claims that she misunderstood her. She misheard her. She thought that she'd said that. I guess she thought she wanted that written on her cup. Um, I do think it's noteworthy to mention that the woman was wearing a hijab headscarf. And that she says she also sounded out her name and spelt her name multiple times that this was not an accident and she believed it to be intentional. This took place July 1st at the St. Midway Target Starbucks in Minneapolis. And I'm really curious to see how they are going to handle this and move forward. And I think that <laughs> that is just an absurd thing to do. And I'm sure she was just having a rough day, but that is really bad to do that to somebody. Um, I totally am with that 19 year old. She was so shocked. She said she almost like couldn't compose herself. Um, as reported by Fox news, the Philadelphia arm of black lives matters called for the complete defunding and eradication of the police department and by ending all military bases abroad. According to the Black, My Black Lives Matter Philadelphia representative and activist, they've developed a five-year plan. They firmly believe that they need to put their efforts into helping drug addicts um, because this would address many of society's illnesses. And they believe the police funding should be used to deal with issues from the ground up. Now, we have yet to get any other substantial information just from the ground up. Okay, my favorite piece of news that I wanted to share with you guys today was that Kanye West, and I'm sure everyone's heard about this, but Kanye West no longer supports Trump. He will be running for office himself, according to Entertainment Tonight. Now, I thought this was a joke, but Entertainment Tonight had, says that they had a close source report this as serious. Um, Kanye had told Forbes magazine on Tuesday that he no longer supports Trump's and will be running as a member of the birthday party he went further to say that he is affiliated under the birthday party because when let me read this correctly when we win it's everybody's birthday okay he also registered for the very first time to vote on monday at their family ranch which i believe is in wyoming and um, I just find that crazy, right? Because he's been out here in his mega hat. He's been totally Trump all the way. Him and Kim didn't even really get along about it. And now look at her. She's like all up there with the president doing her legislative work. You go, girl. But seriously, I just think it would be the best if um, since Kanye and Diddy are friends, if we could get Diddy to bring back the voter die campaign. I don't know if you guys remember, but in 2004, the Citizens Change campaign launched a voter die that him and Paris Hilton were huge into. Um, BET reported that he considered relaunching the slogan voter die back in the 2000 election. So I'm really hoping that he will bring it with this one. Anyway, guys, that's all that I have for today. Thank you for your daily shot of news. Thank you for your love and support. Subscribe. Please send me advice and comments and um, critiques. That's what all this is about. And if you have any interesting news that you want me to discuss, I would be more than happy to research and look into it. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Have a great day.